Hi everyone, it's Hatsy and I'm back with a brand new build video and this time we are going to be building a wine van. So I didn't know what to call this apart from a wine van. I mean, how creative is that? Not very. However, I was originally going to be sharing an Italian mansion today, but the footage is taking me ages to edit. So I wanted to get something out because I haven't had a video out in like six days and I hate that. So I wanted to make sure that I had something that I could share which maybe you won't all like, but hey, at least you get to see a little build and you also get to hear the update on absolute unfortunate events. Seriously, if I had to pick a series which I related to the most, it would actually be a series of unfortunate events. I'm not even joking. So the reason why there's been a delay, well, there are several reasons to start with. Well, <laughs> the main one is the fact that I woke up last week on Monday morning and there were roadworks going off. So I thought to myself, okay, this is incredibly annoying because if you've followed like this situation up to date with where we are now, etc, etc, you will know that I've already complained to them about this. I've already said to the people in the estate, I've, I've told the builders, I've told the customer service department, I've said, look, if there's roadworks going off, I want to know about it. So they apologized profusely in the past when it happened and they've just said, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. We understand that you want to know when there's work going off and it's your right to know, etc., etc. So I was pretty happy with that until Monday morning. <laughs> so it's actually happened a few times up till now where work's been done like on the outside of my house, but they just haven't told me about it. So by the way, in case you are completely new, I live on a building estate. I live on like a new build estate. It's being built, but this part of the development has been built. So there's no excuse for it whatsoever. So yeah, I woke up a couple of weeks ago and there was a flipping tree being planted in my garden. <laughs> well, who told me about that? Absolutely nobody. It was like at the front of my house, like on the front path bit. It's just a really strange thing to do without letting me know at all. <laughs> So I was rather shocked at that, I won't lie to you. And I complained about that as well. And yeah, anyway, Monday morning, I woke up to find that my whole path had been dug up again. Not only that, next door's path and also the opposite us, like across the road, their path was being dug up. What is the big deal? Well, I have no idea. What I can tell you is there were two power cuts that day. So I don't know if that was anything to do with it. So being me, I have to pin this on one person. I have to, I'm sorry, but it is in my nature that if there's a problem, I have to pin it on someone. I need a nemesis, that's the problem. I'm looking for a nemesis right now. And <laughs> this is the issue because there is a woman who has caused this amount of stress to me because she is actually the one that was supposed to tell me and that's why it's annoyed me. So I would consider her to at the moment be a little bit of a nemesis. So we're gonna call her Terry. Terry was the one that was instructed to tell me when anything's going off on the building development. And she didn't do it. So I understand that she's got things to do, but I think it's pretty important. Don't you think if there's building works going off and they're gonna be going off for four days, I think it's I think it's quite a nice thing to let the residents know, don't you think? Wouldn't you like to move your car in the morning or know when you're not going to be able to move your car so that you could probably move it a few days prior sort of thing? Well, no, Terry didn't tell me any of this. So <laughs> yeah, you can imagine just like my face and wow, like you did not want to be around me Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday last week. So <laughs> that is what I was doing. I was just like stood at the window thinking, I'm not gonna be able to record my videos. So you're probably thinking to yourself, how on earth can I pin this on just Terry? I mean, poor Terry, what's she ever done to me? Well, I will tell you <laughs> what she's done in the past. So basically, obviously this is innocent. I don't really hate this woman, but she is quite annoying at the same time. So Terry has a bad habit of knocking on my door. She will knock on my door to let me know that other people are going to be knocking on my door. No, seriously, she's probably done that about 10 times in the last two months she's knocked on my door to let me know that somebody else is going to knock on my door how annoying is that <laughs> so she'll she'll knock and she'll say hi i'm just knocking to let you know that other people are going to be knocking on your door really terry are you seriously going to go down that road with me <laughs> so that's one of the things 
The other thing, of course, going back to this issue which I've been talking about, is the fact that Terry was supposed to tell me that this was going off. She was, and I've spoken to her several times. I've let her know really nicely that I need to know. She knows that I'm a YouTuber, and unfortunately, if something like this is going off, like roadworks, like, I don't know, other stuff going on outside, it's gonna affect my job, and it's gonna mean that I can't make videos, so I can't keep up with anything. So yeah, she knows this, and it's just really annoying that she just didn't help me in this situation because all it would have taken, I mean, bear in mind, she is like a professional at knocking on people's doors when they don't want her to. It would have taken her about five minutes to drop me a letter and just say, hey, we're gonna be working on some building works and stuff for four days, so you might wanna move your car because you won't be able to move your car out your drive or you might want to get all your videos recorded because you won't be able to record for like four or five days. I tried tweeting about it, but honestly, I was so annoyed. I just couldn't. Like, even now, I'm clenching my fists <laughs> as I'm telling the story. It's funny. I don't really hate her. I, I don't even mind her. If I saw her in the street, I would smile, which actually is a funny story because I did see her in the street. So I saw her after I actually made a complaint about her. So that's like the point of the story, basically. I made a complaint about Terry. I rang the customer service department, which is above their customer service department. It's like the area customer services. And I spoke to Terry's like bosses, 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 boss. And I just said, hi, I'm really sorry to call this number, but I don't know who else to ring. I live on this estate and unfortunately, and I complained about Terry. And I did name drop, unfortunately, her name isn't really Terry. But I did say, actually, you know, this person was supposed to tell me, like I've spoken to her several times and she just like keeps cutting me off when she speaks to me and stuff. And just like, yeah, yeah, we're sorry, we're sorry. But they're not sorry. Cause like, if they were sorry, it wouldn't happen. So yeah, anyway, I spoke to the customer service lady. They said that they were incredibly sorry. That should absolutely not happen. And they will investigate right away. So later on that evening, I was out on a little stroll with my dogs. And who do I see? I see Terry and she's walking down the street with her clipboard. And she just looks at me and she just frowns. And I was ready to say like, hello, you know, cause I'm polite like that. I say hello to everybody that I pass. And she just frowns at me. And honestly, she just like had her head down after that and just like walked straight past me. So yeah, it was really awkward. But now Terry knows that I'm serious. She needs to tell me if building work is going off. Cause yeah, like Terry's the reason, you know? I could have had videos out like days ago, but I couldn't cause building works and stuff. But yeah, anyway, that is the end of the build. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see all future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.